Hey, thanks to all new members, all new subscribers. Thanks for the interest. Again, the traffic is low. Please share and like the videos. Thank you. What's that? A line with a train on it? No, it's spots, but well, spots one beside the other. Pretty big spots, probably a mile wide. And they are on that line, leaving Mare Serenitatis going into the ground, I guess. The ground. Sorry. Um, let's check this out. This is the surface of the moon. Have you ever heard of the moon? Let's look at some structuring. I'm going to show you some serious structuring, some serious framing. It's not easy to see. It's not a movie. It's research. Those of you who are curious, and of course, those of you luckily to have a monitor that are bigger than a phone or a smaller tablet, nothing wrong with that, but to view the research, it must be really hard. Look what is around both sides of this supposed crater that goes and up goes up and meets the other one. So it starts off here and it goes all the way down and then just runs across there, with connections to and from it. Look all around there as it goes up, as we go up really slow. We're gonna look at some, uh, another tower. I showed it to you before. We're gonna look at it other angles and see the, the tower I'm going to show you. I found it in 2017, the end of two, uh, 2017. I also, for years, have been explaining to people to film along the Terminator line, or anyways, that's where I film, and not just there, but to get elevation. So sometimes people say, how the hell, excuse the expression, can you get objects that elevated? A spaceship on the left? <laughs> Looks like one anyways. and. There's the tower or straight object coming out of the surface. It depends on how you view it. I'm viewing it upside down, right? Like this is the top side, straight up, not upside down. This is now the moon upside down, north on the bottom, south on top. But look at the square base, the bottom of it. And look at that ball or something at the top. It could be smoke, right? It really does look like a chimney stack. We've heard people talk about it before. It must be this object, but there's more than one towering object on the moon. Won't linger on this one, but uh, got a nice shot of it. And it's just incredible to see these objects on the surface. Do you all remember this one? A few of you were like, yeah, what about it? Well, do you remember this area that I showed you? Where there's structures in the crater? Look where we are, it's the same crater. Right over to the right, I got an arrow on the left image there, and we're just off to the left here, and we see all those beautiful structures. One thing that is driving me nuts and that people are not uh, realizing, you, the community, okay, but the ones um, over years that have been following me, it's like we're all forgetting exactly what I'm showing you here, we're not just looking at lights. Well, yes, we are actually, we're looking at lights, but watch all the other areas. Do you understand that where you see illumination and green on the bottom here, it's filled with the UFOs. UFOs are hiding in the light on the surface. Watch this. We're gonna come up to the end here and get a few arrows up or circles. So that lights up right there, so you're like, why does that light up? We'll go back to it but first. Here on the surface, a UFO with flashes of light around it. And not just around it, guys. It's hitting it, right? We can see it interacting really, 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 really close to this UFO and large lights on the surface. We see many incidences of these lights um, throwing out projectiles. We're going to see infrared also uh, ladies and gents, in this video, some cool captures. We're going to look at detail at some older captures. Um, yeah, UFOs coming to and from the moon. Someone in town ju the, just this week asked me, started viewing my UFO videos, but I don't know what people think of my videos. Honestly, people laugh at me, and people are really skeptical about them. And you know what? I get it. Because obviously I'm getting these things so I trust myself, right? Somebody that doesn't know me and sees these objects and doesn't understand how I'm doing it, even though I keep telling everyone I'm just looking at the moon to setting the exposure. You could see the outline of the craters here everywhere. It's dark, obviously, duh. I took the exposure down. But these lights are appearing on the surface, okay? 
they are literally appearing in different areas so they are all over the surface the moon is littered in these ufos on the surface here again we bring the exposure down and why do i do that because we see the details if the exposure was down and it was only a speck of light from a camera we wouldn't see the objects anymore watch here on the bottom over to the left yeah whatever look look in the center that one there yeah um, i'm gonna get another uh, circle up because over top there's actually another light appearing. Well, there's actually three lights, but right over top too. So these uh, UFOs, ladies and gents, are changing places on the moon. And they're changing places in the bright lights and hazes. So there is definitely a bright light and a haze on the surface that is deliberate to hide these objects. And unless you slow things down, and of course, descend the exposure, you're never going to see anything. Here again, the exposure taken down. Let's analyze this. Watch this. There's two, three things happening here. I know most of you don't see anything, but look at the haze on the bottom, okay? That haze is where the UFOs are hiding. And when a light appears like that in the hazes, as you just saw, it's because a UFO is about to ignite and then take off. These objects are changing places on the surface of the moon. I didn't get enough attention on these. And everyone in the world should get a chance to see the truth. And it's this is a part of it. This is a stationary UFO, something very incredible. But I've showed it to you even before. It's literally stationary in the sky beside a tree. Um, it gets small, then it gets big again, but then takes off. But it also has a light beside it that is doing some odd, strange stuff. We're going to zoom up really close to see it. We're even going to see a projectile. Boom. Did you see it? We're going to zoom. Well, projectile or, again, flash of light near that UFO. So, <clears throat> excuse me. You're not looking at a star. Doesn't it look like a star? I can tell you this is Sirius or Beetlejuice. It looks exactly like a star. Whoops. What the heck's going on? The other stars aren't changing size. I'm not zooming in and zooming out. Watch this. It's going to take off and split in two, or again, two flashes of light. It's stationary, really low. There's flashes of lights in the sky and nowhere else because we can't even see the bloody stars that night. And you can see it clearly in the footage, the uh, specks and flashes of light around it. Now watch carefully as the objects um, quite, qu uh, quite, qu sorry, quite quickly um, flies out. And watch it split in two. Did you see that? If you didn't, we're going to look at it in really slow motion right now. So understand, I'm looking with my infrared camera in the sky in Montreal, where I am right now, looking up in the sky, filming an object that is stationary, that decides to... Uh, go further out and then flashes two lights just before completely disappearing there it was and wow regular speed that was quick as hell wasn't it so here's the same video but at the beginning of the video where we saw that flash um, over top let's take a look at exactly the flashes really really close up you're going to see two bright lights appear beside the uh, UFO and the other light that's beside it disappears. Actually, three lights that you can see flashing there. Check it out. That's what a UFO looks like on the moon. A bright white cloud or a dark watermelon seed like object flying by and that's basically a lot of what I can see. Don't forget rare glimpses like this seeing projectiles or lights appear beside a UFO and look at the directional change in the light while that UFO remains stationary. That's another very rare incident, a uh, rare moment uh, capture on the moon and probably the only one where I could see the light turning. Well actually no, there's a couple of that I got. I mean, hey, that's just telling us like, whoa, there's someone up there, right? Absolutely someone up there. No obligations, but check out my friend because he really is a good friend. Um, 
techno things, physical astronomy. If you want to hear one hell of a good commentary, and he's been doing this a long time before me, uh, showing Venus, the moon, all the planets, and wait till you hear his commentary. If it wasn't for my amazing community, this channel wouldn't even exist. Thanks a whole bunch, everyone. I really appreciate it. So, trolls, yeah. And then mine is. Houston, say again, please.